YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Cuz by Chaz, and today we're gonna be doing the curl sponge cut on a tapered afro. Let's get it. We're gonna be using our Oster Fast Feeds today. We're gonna start straight off by making our first section with the clipper all the way open. gonna do that all the way around the head all right now in that first section what we're gonna do is do clipper close halfway then open it back up again and then do a little bit of lever play in between to get that plin just the way we want it Alright, now the next step, we're going to take that Andy's one guard, open it all the way up, and create another section. Alright, next, we're going to take that same one guard, close it all the way up, and come right underneath that line we just created with the one guard open. Then we're going to grab our zero guard and blend out this line right here. pretty much the taper we're gonna do some clip over comb to take out that bulk right there do a little pick blending tighten everything up but that's pretty much it we're gonna use that same method all the way around come back and smooth it out that makes the blend more clean as well Technique all the way around. Yo, drop a comment below and let me know how y'all do do y'all tapers. Pick all the hair out, see how it see how it sits. Now we're gonna clip over comb. All 
All right, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my one guard all the way open and go against the grain all the way around the line, and then come back with the zero guard and come down on it and smooth it out. This is preparing me to line it up. Get that nice, crisp, clean line. channel be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell below all right now what i'm doing i'm gonna shape it out freehand a little bit just to get that shape clean just in case he decides he doesn't want to curl sponge it that day or whatever the case it's still a nice clean cut the foundation is solid Now I'm gonna add a little bit of Bronner Brothers foam wrapping lotion and hit it up with, hit it with my twisted up comb. Now in my opinion, the twisted up comb is great for barbers and stylists because it's very sanitary. You can clean it after every client, but the curl sponge, that look is undefeated. Man. All right, now I'm gonna attack that line combing all those little hairs forward so it can be nice, crisp, and clean. All right, now when I do my lines in the front, what I do is I hit it with a little bit of spritz, comb all the hair forward so everything locks in place. I do my side post first, create a line in the middle, and then I just connect the dots. Now I'll be using a little bit of enhancements. I'm using the Tune 45 No Drip Black Brown Color. Then I'll come over top of that with Dr. Phil and Hair Fibers. I may have a video coming up on how to properly use enhancements. You see how sharp and clean that line is looking already. I'm just gonna double tap it. Touching up any little spots that I see, polishing the cut. Sheesh. Y'all seen how he looked when he walked in. Now I'm gonna clean up his little baby beard for him. Lean them back and hit them with that razor. So see what I was trying to explain to y'all right there is when I use the razor, I always like to come down on the line first and then go against it.
y'all clean this looking man add a little bit of exotic sweet jamila hit it with some spritz one more time and there you have it let's see what he think hey make sure y'all subscribe man hit the notification bell and stay updated man i'll be back shortly with another video All right, now that's the cut. If you guys got any questions or concerns, leave a comment below and let me know. And be sure to subscribe and stay on the lookout for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. As soon as I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away $100 and a pair of wall quality detailers to one lucky subscriber.